a secret on how to command all round results in your life by Apostle Arame Osai. All right, uh, this is Matoka TV. Stay tuned. May God Almighty bless you. Amen. That if your authority is going to be legitimate, you must be someone that is set under authority yourself. That anytime you find someone manifesting, exercising authority, it is because he is submitted to a higher authority than himself. And what gives legitimacy to his authority is his submission to the higher authority. This man is describing the workings, the administration of authority. That's what he's describing here. He said, I'm a man set under authority. And I also have soldiers under me. I'm not the ultimate authority, but I have some authority drawn from the authority under which I am set under. And because of the authority that has been delegated to me, I can say to this soldier, go! And he goes. What that guy is saying is that, Jesus, I've watched your ministry. And I watched it critically. I saw you doing the same things that I do in the office. You tell demons, depart! I know authority when I see it. You say to this one, come! As a soldier, I understand what you're doing. You're a man that is set under authority. And that's the reason why you have authority and you command authority. That's what this man is saying. Okay, go on to the next verse. And Jesus heard it, he marveled. He marveled at the man's understanding. He marveled at his faith. And it was an indictment on the children of Israel that none of them could muster this dimension of faith. And we have established the foundation upon which the possibilities of faith prosper. That any additional measure of faith that you walk in is occasioned by an additional insight into the workings of the justice system of heaven. Hey, did you get that? So I'll, I'll plug that in soon. But let us check what Jesus said. This is Jesus' comment about the man's words, the man's faith. And I say unto you that, can we go back to, and Jesus, and when Jesus heard it, he marveled and said unto them that followed verily, I say unto you, I have not found so great faith. No, not in Israel. So the question we need to ask ourselves is this. How does the man's understanding of how authority works? How did it translate to a knowledge of the justice system of heaven? Because I said that every advancement of faith is predicated on that premise. Well, the, um, from the way I'm seeing you, you don't want that answer. So, we will just pray. We will just pray. We will just uh, labor in prayers and uh, trust the Lord. Trust the Lord. I will try one more time. If I meet that brick wall again, we will just... Uh, First of all, I would like you to look at the administration around salvation. The legal side of our salvation is what was accomplished on the cross. But that's not all about salvation. The legal side is what occasioned the living side. And the living side of our salvation is the availability of grace. 
because the organic substance that is responsible for making available salvation is called grace you are still not following so the organic side of what we appropriated that became our salvation came in the form of grace If grace is not available, then there's no need to exercise faith. It's because grace, God decided to design the administration of his economy to include grace. That's why faith is needed. The Bible says it is of grace that it might be by faith. So faith became important when the issue of grace was now available. So grace is the vehicle that brings the provision of possibility and faith is a system through which you can actualize that provision and make it your personal experience and your personal property. This man, he made all of that statement because Jesus said, I want to come to pray in your house. He said, no, no, no need for it. I'm not even worthy to receive you into my room. If you come into my house, your, your Jewish brethren will believe that you are not complying with the requirements of the Torah. That's not something I want on my hands. Can you speak the word only? Now, wait, from Jesus' perspective, Jesus will be exercising authority. But what made the man give Jesus that prescription that his authority can walk that way was faith. So it was that faith that was in that man that Jesus was talking about that he was so great and he could not find that very type in the nation of Israel. If we look at the man's explanation critically, you will pick a few things. First thing you are going to pick from the man's explanation is that God is under obligation to respond to a man that exercises faith when grace has made a, com a commodity available. The presence of Jesus was grace personified. And because there was faith in the room, Jesus was obligated to respond. So the Bible says that without faith, it is impossible to please God. For he that, this is an explanation of that statement, he said, because he that comes to God must. The reason why you can't cast faith aside is because the riches that you want to draw upon are in the form of grace so faith becomes a must and faith does not just exist in a limbo the strength of faith is an understanding of the position of justice so i had to do a good study on the things that Jesus paid for before we go into the things he prayed for we need to start with the things he paid for on the cross what do you know what do you know that he paid for as long as you don't know that it means that you have made an agreement with Satan that you, you don't want to go to the next level because there is an understanding of justice that forms the premise of an ever-increasing faith. Now, let me end by saying this. Before we pray. When God called me Based on the calling, I was allocated to preach in the rural areas, not in the cities. 
I preached for two years without the microphone. And it took me two years to learn how to hold the microphone. And, 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 and I don't think I've mastered it yet. The places where we ministered were places where demonic powers were rooted. Rooted in their culture. Rooted in their society. You could see witchcraft in the way they married, witchcraft in the way they solved community problems. For instance, if two people are in a conflict, this one says, I'm the owner. The other one says, I'm the owner. I say, okay, no problem. They take you to the shrine so that you swear before the oracle. You take an oath before the oracle. And that oracle they are going to take an oath before is a spirit that has a very large appetite for blood. That's when you will discover that justice is something that Satan copied. So Satan has his own type of justice. Oh my. Just like witches have their own type of righteousness. You are not with me. And then you want to operate in that environment and preach the gospel. These people have connections with spirits in the forest, spirits in the graveyard, spirits on the mountaintop, and spirits in the water. And most of those spirits are notable for their destructive capacities. So what will your faith rest upon? If you are a missionary that is sent into such a locality, most of us won't go. And it's very easy for you to dwell in a nation like this and forget that there are people that the Lord has assigned to such places that decided to go. It's very easy. But you will need much more than the normal faith that a believer carries to be able to go to such a place and make sense. Because the devils will tell you that I have right in this place. I have right to bind these people. I was sitting on my own in the forest. Their ancestors came to look for me and said, okay, we want our civilization to be established by your laws give us your laws we'll live by them so that you can become our defender there was a covenant that strengthened the, so that's the basis of the legality of the presence of that entity among those people and that's some form of justice and the bible calls god a just judge you must have discover that okay so they have sacrificed to these spirits for 25 years for 43 years for 80 years for 70 years all kinds of blood on that altar to strengthen the agreement generation after generation after generation then you come with the gospel you will need to have a very powerful understanding of God's justice system how that justice system overrides any form of justice that is drawn from the agreements they have made with spirits in that place. For you to be able to dislodge the powers of darkness and to establish the stronghold of God. Jesus did not die for the church. He died for the whole world. It's just that it's a church that recognizes and have appropriated the impact and the implication of his sacrifice. The greatest legal statement that was ever made in the realm of the spirit was the cross. And the Bible is saying, your possibility of ascending from faith to faith will be by reason of a clearer understanding of the justice system 
of heaven. I want to pray a prayer. You may wish to rise on your feet. There are people in this room that because you have decided not to explore the provisions made available in the word of God the way of limitation characterizes your current state of existence for many they have accepted that this is my lot this is my portion and even though the choir prophesied that my tomorrow to them is a cliche It's a cliche because they are not really expecting any form of change because they have not yet gotten additional insight into the workings of God's justice system today I want us to pray when you pray what do you pray because all your prayers should be like the prayer of a lawyer that understands the ground norm he knows the law so he's coming to make demands and if you are praying, quoting justice, you have made God helpless. Oh, you are not with me. There are times God says, come, let us reason together. Because God is trying to befriend you. But you need to climb beyond that level. Because there are times when God says, come and bring your strong reasons. Justice, that's the ground upon which an understanding of it is what makes your faith grow from faith to faith to faith. And a day will come when you see a dead body on the ground. Everybody is crying because their faith cannot carry any other possibility. <laughs> and you look at that dead body. Nobody can believe. But your faith doesn't see it as anything. It's common. That will be because you have done business in the waters of truth and justice. That's where you came from. And if God wants to make you stronger, he gives you a deeper insight of the implication of the justice that is satisfied. The Bible says, he shall see his seed, he shall prolong his days, and the pleasure of the Lord shall prosper in his house. We want to pray. All right, thank you. And I hope that uh, this clip really blesses and transforms your life. If you do, don't forget to hit that subscription button and turn on the notification so that you will not miss any of our daily upload. Once again, don't forget to share and don't forget to subscribe. Until then. May God Almighty bless and keep you. Amen.